there's an organization you're very active in called Vote No on Amendment 2, Vote No on 2. That's the amendment uh, on the ballot that would legalize the use of marijuana for medical purposes. Uh, you don't think that's quite what it does? No, unfortunately I don't. I think it's actually de facto backdoor legalization for smoked marijuana and edible marijuana in any form. Um, the ballot summary language is really nice and neat and it's in this you know, perfect package um, that sounds really good and sounds like it is about medicine and it's about sick, dying, and debilitated and, and children and families. But unfortunately, when you actually get into the meat of the amendment and read the language, you notice that there are significant loopholes. And this will open the doors not only for rampant marijuana use, um, but also for a lot of litigation because we really can't have any you know, specific regulations and restrictions on it. So when people read that 50-word summary or how many <laughs> words there are, you're saying get into the meat of it. Let's walk through some of those potential sure. uh, loopholes that your organization uh, says is, is are there um, allows caregivers to dispense medical marijuana yes what does that mean when I think of a caregiver, I think of someone that's either a close family member, they've been to the doctor's appointments with an individual, they know that person very well, intimately aware of what that person's behavior, demeanor could be, and how they react to certain medications, et cetera, um, or even just how they're feeling on a daily basis. Or when I think of a caregiver, I think of a nurse or a home health aide or a hospice care nurse or a medical doctor. The only requirement for the caregiver in, in this amendment is that they're 21. There's no background screening. There's no medical requirement for any kind of education. They don't even have to be related to the patient. So when Not we're- a doctor, in other words, is no. prescribed. Okay, it's just right. caregiver. Caregiver, and we can talk about that this is not a prescription also. So mm -hmm. that's really important. It's an important distinction for people to understand. Um, just because you put the word medical in front of something, it doesn't make it medical. Um, but the caregiver, the only requirement is that they're 21, which is it's very, it's frightening when you think of that there's no age restriction that you could have someone that's 21 with a 17-year-old boyfriend or girlfriend that they're now supplying pot to.